Hello everybody, welcome to data visualization with Python laboratory. So in this video, we are going to learn about the program number 8A. So let us see the syllabus, then we proceed with the code. So here is the syllabus. So actually there is a printing mistake here. The first one is 8A and the second one is 8B. So 8A program 8A says that write a Python program to explain the working with bokeh line graph using an annotation and a legends. So here we are going to use uh, the bokeh library which is there in Python and we are using some annotations and uh, the uh, how to add legend to our uh, graph. So for, first uh, let us see, let us understand what is this uh, bokeh library. This bokeh is an uh, interactive visualization uh, library in Python that enables you to create high quality interactive plots so that you can uh, interact with the plots. You can zoom in, you can zoom out and uh, you can uh, create the interactive dashboards, uh, data applications by using this uh, special library. It is specially you know, uh, used uh, for creating a web based uh, visualization. Whatever uh, you create the plots, those plots you can save as a web file that is HTML file and you can uh, embed that in your uh, uh, web application. First I will show you the output of this program then we will see the code. Already I have typed the program so you can I will just run this program. So you can see here the moment when I run I am getting one HTML file also. You can see here this is the HTML file the name I have given is bokeh.html. So you can save this file and you can embed in your web application. So what's special here is, so we can make our uh, uh, plot interactive. That means I can uh, zoom in, zoom out, uh, I can save this, all those things I can uh, do it. So here right hand side you can see some uh, you know uh, extra options you are getting that is because of you have imported uh, the bokeh library. So if you want to zoom in you can click this and uh, you can uh, drag and you can uh, zoom. And uh, if you want to come back to the original position, you can refresh this, it will come. Now here, if you select this and with your uh, mouse wheel, you can uh, zoom in and uh, zoom uh, out. So other options are there. See, if you want to save the graph, you can click here and it will uh, uh, download it for you. You can uh, save the uh, graph. So these are all the things we can add with uh, the bokeh uh, library. So let us see the code now. Here is my Jupyter Notebook. What I'll do is I'll just import the uh, required uh, uh, libraries. I want uh, the uh, bokeh library. I'll use import bokeh dot plotting. I want. I'll just uh, import that. Then I want uh, uh, like if you want to create uh, the external file, the HTML file. Uh, then you need uh, the bokeh.io that I'll use uh, from uh, bokeh.io. I'll just import a uh, output file. So other other uh, libraries we'll see later for annotation what we want uh, for legends and all uh, uh, what we want we'll see later. This two uh, this is for plotting and this is to create the external uh, file. Okay, now I'll just create one external file, output file, what name you want you give here. I'll just give a program atm.html and you should enclose in a double quote. It will create one HTML file with this name. Done. Now next step. Next, I'll just create my plot that is by using the figure uh, function uh, what title I want. Title I'll give uh, um, program 8a that is a line graph using bokeh library. Next title I have given. The next, uh, uh, what X label you want, Y label, what you want, uh, X axis, 
x axis label i want uh, say x data what you want at the y uh, y axis label say i'll use a y data and then what width and height you want uh, of your plot you can mention uh, uh, that as well i want a uh, plot i'll use a plot width is equal to i'll use 600 pixels and then plot height is equal to 300 pixels okay so after this this is the figure i have created i'll just store this in one variable say i'll use p so that means this is the object the figure object i have created and that i have stored it in a variable called a p no p is a figure a object i want the x and y value right the x comma y the points values i want for that i'll use one variable called x1 i'll uh, uh, mention my points values here there's a random value i'm giving whatever value you want you can give say i want 6 comma 7 comma 2 comma 4 comma 5 then uh, x2 is equal to the same thing i'll copy because i'm plotting two lines it's it's you wish how many lines you want you can plot it y2 is equal to i'll just use a uh, 3 comma 5 comma 8 comma 6 uh, comma 7 okay now i'll just plot this p dot line p dot line what i want i want x1 comma y1 p dot line i want a x2 comma y2 okay then i'll call the function p dot show that's it later we'll add the annotation first i'll run this much here we are getting one uh, error so figure is uh, not defined so what i'll do is i'll import that as well i'll just use uh, from bokeh plotting import figure comma show okay now i'll run this there is one more error here so here show is a function for that we have to pass our object now you can see it is creating one uh, html file created one html file and this is uh, uh, line one and this is a uh, line uh, two and option you can see here the zoom in the wheel zoom the save all those things uh, we are getting the option here let us add more uh, annotation to our code okay so this is line one right for this line one what i'll do is i'll change the color of this uh, line one for that i have an attribute called a color color is equal to so line one i want in red color line two i want a in green color okay color i have added now what is the line width you want you can specify line width is equal to say i want two so the second line width I want uh, 3 okay the line width I have added and what type of line you want uh, mm, so this one I will make dashed line line uh, dash is equal to dashed okay uh, yeah so I will just run this you can notice the difference here the first line 
the size is 2 the width of second line is a 3 and this is dash line this is a solid line okay so next time I'll add the uh, legend <coughs> for that I want label no legend label so here I can say legend uh, label is equal to uh, whatever you want you can give I'll just for time being I'll just give a uh, uh, line 1 line 2 so I'll just add legend here before show p dot legend dot title what title you want for the legend so I'll use a uh, b lines bokeh lines yeah or uh, line graph or simply lines whatever you want you can uh, use it the title uh, for your legend okay after that uh, where you want uh, the p dot uh, legend dot location location is equal to i want uh, towards top left hand side so i'll use that and what is the font size you want p dot legend dot label text font size is equal to I'll use the 10 points I'll just run this yeah, there is an error here because this is not the iPhone, this is underscore. Okay, now you can see uh, we got the legend, the name of the legend is line, line 1 and uh, line 2. Uh, you can customize it and you can, you can add whatever you want for this. Now, I'll just uh, show you how to add one arrow. Uh, like uh, uh, one one arrow I want to add uh, you can see here in the previous see this kind of arrow how to add it from where you have to show. see this arrow if you see it is starting from x axis point 4 here x4 comma y is a 5 this is start end is x4 y is a 7 yeah so this arrow how to add uh, this arrow I'll just show you <clears throat> for this you have to import uh, uh, one library that is uh, you have to import uh, the models from uh, bokeh dot models import label comma you want arrow import arrow then uh, this v head what type of uh, head you want for the arrow okay. i have imported this now i'll show you how to add that uh, arrow <coughs> i'll just write here <coughs> I'll use one variable called uh, say arr is equal to I'll call the function arrow capital A. remember arrow I'll use one variable end is equal to so whatever arrow we want we want a v head arrow we want and what is the size of this so you can uh, uh, mention here size is equal to 15 comma after that where it has to start we have a x start attribute value for that I, I want to start from 4 then y start is equal to say y is a 5 then end where you want to end 
x end is equal to 4 only comma y end up is equal to I'll say 7 okay so what color you want what uh, uh, the uh, line width you want all those things you can uh, uh, mention like for my arrow I want uh, uh, the color line uh, line color head color also you can change line color uh, say is equal to black um, one black okay. <coughs> any any color what we want you can give this okay now our arrow is ready we have to add to the layout for that with where is the object object is there in p p dot add layout i'll just say add a layout function i'll call add layout and i'll pass uh, the arr variable now you can see we got the arrow here we got the arrow the color uh, you can uh, change it and this line is there no the arrow line that width also you can uh, change it that also i'll change and show you uh, go to end so i'll use uh, orange comma so both the line width line width is equal to at least three run this now you can see the color of the arrow is changed uh, to orange and the width also increase so wherever you want you can uh, place this if you want here then you can say x value 4 y value is a uh, 0 and if you want to end here x value 4 y value 4 so uh, this is one uh, annotation the one more if you want to add one line here horizontal line uh, then uh, for that that is called the uh, span annotation for that also you have to import uh, uh, the models I'll import the model import models dot uh, annotations annotation import uh, span I'll use one variable called sp I'll call the function uh, sp I'll call the function span where you want to start your line that horizontal line at what position uh, I'll uh, I have to add the location I'll just add a uh, location is equal to 5 so later you can change the uh, width color the line capital S here I'll just check yeah capital S that line we have to add to the uh, layout add uh, what is the variable SP okay we got one line at location uh, 5 so the same thing you can change the uh, color of uh, this and width and everything Thank you so much student this will be a very helpful uh, uh, library so please go through it explore more uh, uh, functionality of this in the second uh, video that is uh, 8b i'll show you what are the different uh, uh, plots available in the bokeh library thank you thank you so much